everyone, it's Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the edit. This is our weekly roundup of new sewing pattern releases. Wow, we have had a lot of new stuff this week. There's some really great things. So I'm gonna get cracking. Um, in fact, I actually have to like save a couple for next week because there are so many, I can't fit them all in. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get started. So the first thing we have got is Fiber Mood. So last week I showed you the Fiber Mood magazine that's just released. When the new, the new magazine comes out, all the patterns that were in the last magazine then get released as PDFs. So if there was like one that you liked and you just wanted to buy one pattern, they're now available to get kind of, you can buy them singularly if you don't want to have the magazine. So they are now fresh and ready for you to get excited about. There are 13 of them. The first one is the Fiber Mood Marcia Jacket and Vest. This comes as a PDF only, this pattern, and it's available in sizes UK 6 to 30. That's across the board for their patterns. So this is really exciting for me. Let me show you the line drawing because I think then it kind of gives you an idea of what you're getting. So quilted jacket, very much in for spring, useful item, wear it as a layering piece. The cool thing about this jacket is that it has detachable sleeves, so it then becomes a vest which I think is so useful and makes it really interesting. So the sleeves kind of pop up on and off. You can see from the line drawing, there are um, poppers down the front. You can choose from two different necklines, a kind of just a round neckline, which I think kind of moving forward to spring is probably feels a bit more summery, or there's a higher one if you want that little bit of extra sort of coziness. Pockets in the front. Um, it's a kind of like a drop shoulder. Um, if I show you the version with the vest version, you can see that it's that sort of drop shoulder. So it's kind of a little bit oversized. There is a, um, I've just missed a key detail off. There is around the bottom, it's got elasticated um, kind of bottom. So it cinches it in. It kind of feels a little bit bomber jackety. I just love it. I think it's really useful. I think it will be a really fun make because have you ever made anything with with um, sleeves that come on and off the garment? So if you're looking for something where you are doing something a bit different, you learn something while you make it, this could be a really great option. The second one is the most beautiful dress. It's called the Lucille dress. It's a PDF only. It comes in sizes 20, uh, UK 4, you sorry, UK 6 to 30. Um, I love this. There are quite a few variations in the tying of it. So let me show you the line drawing so we can understand what is going on. So you can see from the dress, it's got, um, it's quite a like deep V. The core detail are these two ties at the front that come kind of from the center front out. And with this comes loads of different options to tie it and make it look completely different. So you can see from the line drawings, there's an option where you can have it with the kind of um, strap hanging down the front of you where you just tie it once. You can wrap it, kind of twist it and then tie it around the back. You can fold it over itself and tie it around the back. There's quite a lot you can do with it. It makes it look completely different. I think this cut is really flattering on most body types. The thing that's I know that it's probably going to put a few of you off is that little bit that shows that little bit of tummy, but actually it, the way that it's cut, it's above your, um, it's above your waistline. So it's actually the bit just below kind of your bra and before your belly button. And this tends to be, if you do have a bit of a tummy like I do, um, <laughs> basically your thinner part. And I just, it's quite flattering. Anyway, the skirt has panels, so it's got three panels at the front, the back has got four panels and then there's a zip down the centre back, I'm assuming. Yes, zip down the centre back. Sleeves are quite, um, there are two options, so you can either have them where they've got elastic at the, at the um, hem or you can leave it loose, so they're kind of like a kind of wide-ish, looser sleeve. I think it's a really versatile dress. I think it's something that you could wear to an event, but I also think it's something you can make and wear to the beach. So to me, this feels like a really lovely spring option. And then the third one I've got is my favorite. It's the Ronda Top Fiber Mood again, sizes six to 30. It's so beautiful, this, 
this um, garment. Right, let me have a garment pattern, sorry. Let's have a look at the line drawing to see what's going on. So it's got this beautiful bib detail on the front and that the thing is the thing for me that it makes it super interesting. It's got the same bib detail mirrored on the back with buttons up the back. It's got a very kind of wide, loose sleeve, which I really like. But I think the thing that makes it interesting, if we look at the pictures, it's the fabrication of this. So they've used a slightly sheer fabric which means that you can really see the seam date detail on the front. And I think if you love this pattern and think I have to make it, I think that's something that you should look for. Something where that's slightly sheer so you can see that lovely detail, because I think it, if you had like it with a really um, busy print, you'd completely miss this kind of beautiful detail. And you can see at the side, it's ever so slightly, it's cut ever so slightly shorter at the side panels. I just think it's so gorgeous and it's really interesting. And for me, I love patterns that are quite simple shapes, but have like kind of subtle details. And yeah, I just think this is totally gorgeous. So very excited about that one. Up next, we've got a really lovely top from Itch to Stitch. It's called the Coimbra Wrap Top, which I no doubt have said wrong. It's a PDF only, this one. It comes in sizes UK 6 to 36. It's also cut with a regular and full bust, this one. And she always usually does bust cut options, but obviously because it's jersey, you don't need it to be as precise in terms of the cutting of the bust cup. Um, so let's have a look at the line drawing and see what is going on here. It's a really useful pattern. I think it's something you could totally wear all the time if you liked. Um, you could wear it to work, you could wear it at the weekend. It's kind of spammed a lot of kind of Ticks a lot of boxes, that's that's the better phrase for it. So it's a simple wrap um, style top. Um, there is a variation with a little sort of quite 70s feel collar. Feels like the uh, all the, that sort of Diane von Fustenberg um, iconic jersey dress, that little collar detail. Wrap at the side, bust starts, which is really nice, especially in, I love it when there's a bust start, even with jersey. Um, actually quite a simple make. I think you could whip this up in a few hours. And it's got this really nice kind of chunky um, finishing round the neckline, which I think makes especially Jersey look really expensive. So that's it really. It's just a really good little kind of wardrobe filler if you're looking for something to kind of, you know, a nice little treat yourself top. We were talking last week about the Grainline Studio project bag, which everyone went absolutely mad for. Um, and there, will be, there are more on the way, so if you didn't get it, don't panic, it is coming back. And as you guys love bags so much, I thought I'd mention the one that we've got from Sew Over It. It's a City Set bag collection. I thought these were really useful, both of these shapes. So there's two different patterns that you get in the set. Um, there's a sort of, I guess, bun bag is the right word for it. It's a little like pouch that you wear around the front, cut shorter. And then there's a little kind of sports bag. And then it also comes with a little kind of travel card wallet as well, um, which to be honest, I think is probably slightly less useful. But the other two I think are really good items. So the, the little one that goes around your, the first one I was talking about, the sort of bun bag style shape, um, it's got a zip down the front, it's got adjustable straps so that you can make it a bit longer depending on the length of your body or how you like to wear your bag. And the other version I thought was a really great little overnight bag or gym bag, something to kind of carry kind of bigger stuff with. I probably wouldn't use this shape just shape wise as a handbag, but definitely if you're, you know, going to the gym or yeah, you've got a little overnight stay, this could be a nice option. So this has, is a kind of circular sort of duffel bag. Um, it's got adjustable straps again, um, and also little side pockets. I don't know why with every single item I'm doing this, just to show you about straps. And then there are pockets in the side next to the strap as well. Um, I just think it was quite a useful shape. So if you are feeling the bag love, like everyone else seems to be, this could be a nice thing to have a look at to see if it would work for you. It's a PDF only, I did not say. 
Um, the other thing that we've got from Sew Over It is the Pippa dress, which I thought was really beautiful. This is PDF only for this one and it comes in sizes. Um, it's split into two sizes, 6 to 20 or 18 to 30. Um, I thought this would be a really great option if you've got a kind of spring event. Um, and it definitely has a little bit of a nod to vintage. So if you like vintage dresses, I feel like this feels a little bit 1940s, this sort of shape. So there are three variations of this. If we have a look at the line drawing, we can see what's going on. Three different sleeve options, short sleeve, um, three quarter length, and then a sort of pleated, slightly bell shaped sleeve. It's got this really interesting, it's almost kind of like a wrap dress, but it's got this kind of asymmetric um, button detail going down the front, which I think is really great. There's an option to have a split. The skirt is cut slightly flared, but not kind of, crazy amounts. I just think it's gorgeous and it's got little, is that pleat detailing? I know it's just the sleeve head but I think it's beautiful um, and it's something that I think loads of people would really like and it's quite a timeless summer dress. The thing I like about this is that if I show you the version, the kind of cover image which is this purple version, looks quite vintage in its sort of styling but then if I show you this version you can see as soon as you put a print on it and a slightly bigger button, it actually looks really modern. So it's quite a versatile pattern. And if you're looking for a dress one, this is definitely one to have a bit of a look at. So back to bags, because you know, who doesn't need another bag? And I thought this was a really fun, fun like bag and a nice little project to make. So this is from Juliana Martej. It's the Yasmin bag. I should note if you haven't come across her patterns before, all her instructions are done in a video format so if you are a visual learner and you love learning that way then these patterns are really worth having a check out if you hate the idea of a video then these patterns are definitely not for you so they're quite marmitey in that way i personally love seeing you know step by step so just you know a visual just a note on that so the first one there are two accessories actually the first one is the yasmin bag I thought this was so cute. So it comes in two different sizes. You can see it's all, it's a very simple construction. It's kind of like a sort of squarish tote with a quite a short um, strap, very much on trend with stuff in the shop. And the big detail is this kind of big statement ruffle. It's so on trend for this season, especially the smaller one. Um, handbags are getting a lot smaller and kind of prettier and they're kind of little Kind of pretty statements so this one to me feels very much on trend and something that would be fun to make i also think if you have children this could be a fun project to do with them to make you know some sort of unicorn bag um yeah because most little girls seem to love unicorns <laughs> or the ones that i know do anyway so yeah that was the first one the second one is the Juliana Martej bucket hat and you can see obviously they've been styled together. I thought this was a really fun pattern. I love it. So it's a bucket hat. It has a, the detail to tie it underneath your chin, which is actually really useful. The thing that I should say, is if you don't like to have it tied under your chin, you can also have it tied at the back of your neck but it basically means you, the hat is not going to blow off. It's quite handy if you want to wear it on a bike or you're, you know, on a yacht, as we all are regularly. Um, you can tell and think about summer holidays. Um, I just think this is really nice. So the nice detail about it is the rim has got this sort of stitch detail all the way around this top stitching. This adds the structure to the shape of the hat. It means that it won't be really floppy and it'll really hold its shape, especially if you get a good interfacing and put it in. So that's why there is that detail on it. Um, sometimes people send messages because I used to be milliner asking about stuff like this. So that's why they, that top stitching is there to add the structure, which I'm sure many of you will have looked at and thought that's why. Um, it's a PDF only pattern. And again, this comes with a video tutorial of how to make it. But I thought this would be really fun. It's the sort of thing that you could make for um, you can make for loads of members of your family. It'd be really nice to make for a holiday, or it's just quite a fun thing to make something that isn't an item of clothing sometimes. And a hat, like making like cut and sew hats, are really really fun to make. 
So that is it from us this week. I hope that was useful and you found something you like and we will be back next week with even more patterns because there were so many this week, it was unbelievable. Have a lovely, lovely rest of the weekend. Bye.